Hi, welcome to Getting Started with Page Experience, a brand new series where we explore this exciting new addition to the web performance landscape. Throughout this series, we'll dive into what Page Experience is and how you can use it to better your site. Page Experience is a new input to Google search ranking that will come into effect later this year. Because of advancements in browser capabilities, we can now confidently list any content in the top stories carousel and within normal search results based off of how good an experience the page actually is for actual users. We've always said that user experience is essential for ranking well in search, and now you have a roadmap to follow to make sure you get there. And you did hear that right. AMP is no longer a requirement for being included in the top stories carousel. Every relevant news article that provides a good user experience can qualify for it, whether or not it uses AMP. The concept of web performance has always been subjective. What's fast on my computer may be unacceptably slow for the people using the site. Page experience lets us focus on those people and make sure that they are actually experiencing the site in a way that we are happy with. It sets a baseline goal that teams can develop towards to ensure users are getting that great user experience. How does it do that? By actually looking at the user's experience. The metrics that make up page experience are, in part, collected from the Chrome User Experience Report. This is a public data set that shows just how fast or not so fast millions of URLs across the internet have loaded and behaved on actual people's actual devices. So what goes into page experience? There are two different groups. The first are things you either have or you don't. These are things like mobile friendliness, HTTPS, safe browsing, and no intrusive interstitials. The second group are metrics that grade your page based off of what your real user's experiences are on their actual devices. These metrics are called core web vitals. Core Web Vitals is an annually updated list of metrics that define what it takes to have that great user experience we're trying to talk about. Currently, it's made up of first input delay, largest contentful paint, and cumulative layout shift. In the coming episodes, we're gonna deep dive into each and every one of those and take a close look at issues you may be having on your site and even some potential fixes. In the meantime, you can find out more about page experience and Core Web Vitals at the links below. If you're anything like me, you have a bottomless development backlog of to-dos. Why should you care about yet another one? Well, I'm so glad you asked. Page experience is all about making sure your users are getting what they want in the best possible way. It gives you a custom report from your real users exposing actual ways that you can improve. Since page experience is all about what the user is actually experiencing, it isn't something that applies to your entire website. Every user uses the site differently. Instead, every single URL gets looked at individually. To see what I mean, you can check out the Search Console for your website. You may need to sign up if you haven't already, but once you have, you can click on the page experience report to see just how you're doing. This will give you an awesome insight into what parts of the site need the most work. For instance, your homepage may have fantastic results, but your content pages may be less than ideal. If that's true, you may find that your homepage starts to rank a little higher and your other pages start falling behind. But the great news is that none of this is a black box. All of the core web vitals are pulled in from the monthly Chrome user experience report. You can check out more about it at the link below. There's still a lot of road to cover on our way to a great page experience, and we're so excited to share it with you, but our time's running short for this introductory video. In the coming episodes, we'll cover some of the most common problems sites have, as well as steps you may be able to use to improve your site. So make sure to subscribe to get notified of future episodes where we'll be diving into each part of page experience. See you there.